Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca. Let's talk about makeup. So today I am updating my deck of panning for April. I'm super excited. This is this continues to be one of my favorite projects. And it was created by Emily from Emily and Max. I will link her channel and all of the information about this project down below if you wanna check it out. So with that aside, let's take a look at my products. Last month I drew five products. Now I, I had one that I kept in from the month before, but I am working on five products. Three of those I have met my goals on. So let's take a look at the ones I have met my goals on and then we'll talk about the ones that I still have some uses left on. So I rolled in this one and I believe the prompt was a pencil. Uh, and so I rolled in this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil in the color Mildew. And uh, I set the goal for each of these things with the exception of one. So four out of the five products, the goal was 10 uses and I used this 12 times. I actually weighed this one. It came in at 5.71 grams and it is going out at 4.33 grams. So I used a fair amount. I'll put some before and after pictures up <laughs> if I have them. <laughs> Hopefully I do. But anyway, so this is where we're at. Now, I need to clarify that not all of the product that left here went on my eyes. This is what happened to this pencil. It is broken up in several places inside the pencil. And so in the process of sharpening it, I did lose a fair amount of product, but it is what it is. It is something that I would like to finish because it is an older product in my collection. So as I continue to work on it throughout the year, uh, I would probably go through it more quickly than I would if it was fully intact. But that is where we're at. And that is rolling out after 12 uses. Then for the prompt indie, I rolled in this lip liner from Glamlight. This is from their Rick and Morty collection. And I rolled this in for 10 uses as well. I didn't get a weight on this one and I'm not sure why, but this is what we're looking like now. I believe I have a before and after picture of this one as well to share with you. So I got a good amount of use on this. I really, really enjoy this pe pencil. It's not my creamiest lip liner, but I almost feel like that's a really good thing, especially for a darker color like this. It is a really deep plum color. And I think that just really, really helps get a very precise line. And I have used it with all sorts of different lipstick. I've just really, really enjoyed this pencil. Let's swatch mildew as well. Oh my goodness, come on mildew. Okay, the tip of it just fell out and I just sort of smudged it on the back of my hand. So that's what we've got. I'll deal with that mess the next time I wanna wear it. The last product I met my goal on was something, whoops, hold on. My bangs are just driving me crazy today. Like stay, stay, stay where I put you. This is the last product that I met my goal on. This is the Ofra liquid lipstick, just a little mini one in the shade Pasadena. This was for the Prompt Cities, which is a product that is inspired in some way by a city. And this came into the project at 10.87 grams and it is leaving at 10.72 grams after 10 uses. So there's no visible progress on it. I don't know if we're gonna get to that point, but got some good use on this. I really, really actually enjoyed this as well. Oh, sorry, I just had a, like a sneezing fit. Oh, spring. Spring used to be my favorite season until I turned 30 and then like out of the blue after not having allergies to anything in my life. I had the what I thought was the flu for like two months straight. Yeah. And apparently it's just trees are trying to kill me. Anyway, the Pasadena liquid lip. This actually went really, really well with my Glam Light liner. I loved these two together. This actually also did really well at mixing in with other warmer lipsticks. Like there was, there's another lipstick in another project that I was trying to get uses on that is very warm on me, especially at this time of year when I don't have a ton of color yet. And, um, this was really, really good for that. So the two products that I still have uses to get here are my uh, Milani Glow Soft Focus Glow Complexion Enhancer. I rolled this in. What did I roll this in? Oh gosh, I didn't even write down the prompt. What prompt did I roll this in for? Seasonal. <laughs> Pulled it for the seasonal prompt. 
<laughs> I really need to write this down. This is technically a face illuminator, one of those Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter or Elf Halo Glow type products. It is the shade 02 Golden Glow. However, it is too peachy and too thick for me to enjoy wearing it on my face. So I have been wearing it on my body. I got to the point where the pump was no longer working. And so I have cut it open and I'm using the product there. This is a recent development. So I think I'm probably gonna, after this video, I think I'm gonna scrape it out of here and put it into a container that I can actually close. Cause it's just, this seems a little gross to me. So I will be decanting this into something else, but I wanted to keep it in its original packing packaging long enough to get a valid weight on it because I'm not going to be obviously the weight's not going to matter once I've changed packaging so because I, the majority of the weight here is the pump on this thing so this came into the project at 554.76 grams and it is leaving the project at 26.02 grams so I used pretty much half the weight of this thing and that was over the course of nine uses so I have technically one use left to go on this one I actually think I'm going to go ahead even though I have one more use on this and I will complete that last use probably tomorrow uh, I'm going to draw a card in its place the last thing that I'm still working on is my Pat McGrath sunlit seduction mothership palette which is this palette here i drew this in february i think it was february for the prompt sentimental and this is this was a gift from my husband when i first brought it into the project i think i brought it in for seven uses possibly i used it nine times that month but in my last update, I decided to keep the product in and increase my usage goal to 30. So that first month I used it nine times and I have used it eight times since then. So we are currently sitting at 17 out of 30 uses. So this one is going to be staying in, but I'm going to go ahead and draw new cards for the rest of these products. Okay, as usual, I am going to be using uh, the random playing card shuffler from missingdice.com. I don't actually have a physical deck of cards, so we're gonna do this virtually. I will screen cap this here on my iPad and so that you can see the cards that I am drawing. I'm gonna go in options here and make sure that the black joker is checked. And then I am going to remove the ace of spades and the ace of I believe ace of clubs uh, because those represent the get out of free jail card which I have already pulled so we're going to pull four cards here the first one is the seven of hearts the three of diamonds the three of clubs and the four of clubs. Okay, so this is this month's game board. It has been shuffled. So the first card I drew was the seven of hearts. That's threes a crowd. I think I drew that one in January. I think it's for a trio. Threes a crowd, a trio product or three things you wanna compound together to compare them. Interesting. The next one I drew was the three of diamonds, which is something that is brand new. Then I drew the four, or is the three of clubs. The three of clubs is something that's glittery. That'll be fun. The four of clubs, an influencer collab or brand. I do have some Makeup Geek shadows. I think I have one collab palette. I might pick a single shade out of that palette because I'm working on a lot of full palettes right now. Okay. I am going to go pull my products and I'll be back at you in a minute. Okay, I'm back. I don't have my products yet. After some consideration, after looking through my collection, I think I'm going to use the optional skip on that last prompt, which was the influencer collab or brand. There are only a couple of possibilities that I have for that, and n neither of them are things that I really want to be working on right now or that I feel like will really fit into the other projects that I'm working on and how I'm wearing my makeup right now. 
Uh, so the optional skip is a rule where you can discard a card that you don't want. So in this case, it would be that uh, four of clubs. And in its place, I have to draw two more cards and try to combine those two prompts. So this is a little risky. <laughs> but, you know, what's life without a little bit of risk? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go back to missingdice.com. And we are going to discard that four of clubs and we are going to pick two more cards. One is the five of diamonds and one is the six of clubs. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, so five of diamonds, hold on a second. <laughs> I gotta write that down. Okay, we've gotta find something, a product in my collection that fits both of these prompts. So the five of diamonds is something gemstone related and the six of clubs is focus. What does that mean? Okay, focus. Reflect on the panning goals you set at the beginning of the year. Okay, I'm gonna go pick my products for reals this time. <laughs> I have chosen my products. I'm very excited. So the first card that I drew was the seven of hearts and that was four threes of crowd, which is a trio or three things you want to pan together to compare them. Um, I chose a trio. This is my Pat McGrath Bijou Brilliance uh, bronze and glow trio in forever nude. I got this at the beginning of the year during the after Christmas sale and I have only gotten a few uses on it. This is what she looks like. I'm actually wearing it today. And yeah, uh, this is this is a really nice trio. This shade of highlighter, it's a little more pinky and opalescent than I really usually am drawn to. I'm usually drawn to highlighters with a little bit more warmth in them, which is interesting because I do have a little bit of a cooler undertone, uh, but yeah, no, I think that will be fun. I will enjoy getting some use out of this. As I mentioned in my last update, all of these products will be coming in for 10 uses. I feel like that is a challenging but attainable amount of uses. So yeah, I'm excited about that one. My next card was the three of diamonds, which is something that is brand new. So I am rolling in. This is my newest makeup acquisition. It is the Buxom Lip Plumping Cream in the shade Dolly. I actually have two other lip glosses in projects right now as we speak but I don't care. <laughs> I am really eager to wear this lip gloss. So I am rolling her in for the brand new prompt. 10 uses should not be a problem, even with the other glosses that I'm working on. The next one was the three of clubs and that was for the prompt glittery. So I am rolling in this Moira glitter liner in the shade show off. This is such a pretty liner and I don't often think to reach for glitter liners. So putting in the project will help me get a little bit more use out of it. This is the sort of product I have intermittently in my collection. I don't always have a glitter liner, but when I do, they usually inevitably go dry before I'm able to really get a ton of use on them. So it'll be nice to have it this in this project and get a little more use out of it than I generally might. So that is coming in for 10 uses. My next prompt was for the four of clubs, which was the influencer collab or brand. And I decided I did not want to go with that one. So I discarded that card and I drew two new prompts. And the new prompts that I drew were the five of diamonds, which is something inspired by a gemstone. So that can be the packaging, the product, the product not name, etc. And then I also pulled the six of clubs, which is focus. Basically, it is reflecting somehow on your uh, initial panning goals at the beginning of the year. And just to kind of help you remember what you were working towards at the beginning of the year. Now I had a couple of goals going into the beginning of the year. And one of them was I really want to make as much use out of my entire collection as possible. I want to use everything. I don't want to go through this year and there to be products in my collection that I have not touched. That was, I think the primary reason that I came into panning in the first place, because I wanted something that was going to really help me get more, um, focused and 
deliberate use on the makeup that I already have in my collection instead of focusing on what new was an out around the corner. Now, I also introduced to you <laughs> recently the 24 products that I had selected to complete in this year. So there is a product that would fit the prompt of gemstone in my 24 and 24. And there is also a product that would fit my initial, this is the reason I'm panning goals. It is a product I have not yet used this year. And to be perfectly honest, I don't think I used it last year either. If I went with the one that is in my 24 and 24, that is a much more easy and attainable goal for me. The one that I have not used in this year or last year, that one is going to be a lot more of a challenge. And I think kind of in the spirit of this as a game, as something that we're using to kind of push ourselves in a fun way, I'm going to go with that one. I'm going to go for a product that I have not used this year and I didn't use it last year. It is a product that I have struggled to find ways to use. So I kind of feel like that's sort of the reason why I came into panning in the first place is to help me really make good use of all of the makeup in my collection, not just the ones that are easy or at the front of my mind um, and that I already know how to incorporate into my day to day makeup. So I'm going to go for that interpretation of the prompt fo focus. And for that, I am bringing in this Stila Shimmer and Glow in the shade Vivid Labradorite. Now this is, you're going to see why I haven't gotten much use out of this. This is a deep, deep smoky gray shimmer. It's beautiful. <laughs> But to be perfectly honest, I don't know why I bought it. <laughs> I think I bought it because it was a shade that I had never seen and I saw it pop up in TJ Maxx. I picked it up for like $12. And, but I have never figured out how to incorporate it. Because in in general, I tend to use the, these shimmer and glows and glitter and glows as toppers or accents to an existing uh, pressed eyeshadow eye look. I don't do a whole lot of all cream or all liquid eye looks. I don't do a whole lot of one and dones. I use liquid shadows to accentuate an eye look that is already complete. And I don't know how to do that with this. <laughs> so I'm going to roll this in for 10 uses. I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit scared. Um, I have no idea how to use this. I guess I will find out. So that is rolling into the project as well. So that gives me one, two, three, four. Whoa. So that's four products here. And we are keeping my Pat McGrath palette in as well. To be perfectly honest, this one is going to be no problem at all. This one, no problem at all. These two, these are going to be a little bit of a challenge. This one more than the other one, but they're both going to be a little bit of a challenge to work into my makeup looks over the next month especially because I'm going to be traveling for a good chunk of the beginning of May I'm not sure <laughs> uh, how these are going to work into my beach looks <laughs> if at all um, we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes wish me luck thank you so much for spending this time with me and I will see you in the next one bye <laughs>